Hello everyone, this is Yakuro with another UE4 tutorial. In this episode, we will look into the U function macro and cover the following specifiers. Blueprint implementable event and Blueprint native event. What are the use cases for those two specifiers? If you're familiar with Blueprint uh, callable and Blueprint pure, then you know using one of those specifiers allows us to call C++ native implementations within the blueprint. Now those two new specifiers is actually doing the opposite. So we can call uh, functions that are implemented in the blueprint from the C++ level. The main difference between those two specifiers is Using Blueprint native event allows us additionally to provide a native implementation of that function. So if uh, that function isn't implemented in the Blueprint, it will still use the one we're providing in C++. So let's make an example. Let's create a U function and then we will use first blueprint implementable event. Um, let's say we are returning an array of F strings, which is a list of weapons. So as I said, so we use here blueprint implementable event. This function is going to be implemented hopefully in the blueprint and we can call this now. Let's say we just use it here and begin play to make our life easy. So I'm calling it here. Then we get hopefully a list of weapons And then we just print them out into the terminal. Pretty simple. Uh, let's see. Yeah, why not? Item. It's a string. Oops. Have to dereference it, it because it's a string. And now let's compile this. Let's check. A blueprint impl I did here type already. Sorry. And then yeah. Okay, let's look at this again. So Hopefully this function is going to be implemented in the blueprint. Then we will get a valid list of uh, weapons and we just print them out here. That's it. Let's create the blueprint. Make sure that you have opened this output log to see the loggings, if not, go to window, developer tools, and output log. And we have to drag also this actor to the level. So if we start now, uh, of course, we won't see it like this. Yeah. So if we start, we won't see any logging because we didn't. Uh, provide that function as you can see so those function can be seen here in the blueprint in this function section go to override then here get list weapons now we can provide a list let's say a laser and a gun This time we should see it in the terminal, laser and gun. 
pretty cool. So we implemented this function in the blueprint and calling it in C++ and using it here. Now let's use native event. As I said, we can provide here a basic implementation in C++. For that, we need a small modification. We have to add a suffix, which is called uh, the function name underscore implementation. And in here, let's provide a basic of weapons let's say gravity gun <laughs> and here uh, a cannon mm, let's check here blueprint native event let's compile and then as I said it's the same behavior actually so this function can be implemented in the blueprint. This time, if not, uh, we will use this implementation here. But if the function is implemented in the blueprint, we will see, of course, the results um, of the blueprint version. So, first, let's get rid of this implementation. Now we should see gravity gun and cannon in the terminal. Gravity gun and cannon. So because we didn't provide any function, so I was just, I just removed it. Now if I undo this, so we are providing this function, and this time we see laser and gun. Pretty cool. Another thing I like to mention is that um, here, this is uh, one type to present a function. So it has those input, part, and output. And we can see here some parameters, and then we can pass the return values. If our function does not have any return value, the node or the function that is used will look more like an event type. I don't know why I closed it. So it will look like this. Let's do that. Let's use for that blueprint implementable event again and here we say let's say something completely different void say uh, something and then we pass a const f string text so we are uh, assuming that this function is provided by the blueprint so we can get rid of this and this and we're just calling it and passing here hello unreal engine for world Okay, so I think I didn't make any typos this time. Blueprint implementable event. As I said, the node type will change because we don't have any return values. Hmm. Ah, almost done. So we go to override again and select the say something and as you can see 
now it looks like the event type function and this will be always called when we are calling that function in C++. And let's print out this value and here we can say hello Unreal Engine 4 world. Of course uh, we can combine uh, the blueprint implementable event and blueprint callable so um, that we are able to call this function also from the blueprint but that is another topic we will not talk about that right now so um, okay so that's it actually for this episode um, so if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to leave me a comment uh, other than that thanks for watching and hopefully seeing you in the next episode